Hi everyone and welcome to another SISA tutorial. Today we want to talk about routing rules. In our help desk list tutorial I showed you how you can select a bunch of service records and assign them to a certain admin. In that case it was James. That is based on the fact that you know that James is responsible for the mobile devices category and he's going to take care of each and every service records that comes into your help desk regarding this subject. So if you already have that knowledge in advance what you can do is you can create a routing rule that will automatically assign service records to James in case the category is mobile devices. How to do that? Let's see. We'll click on settings and right here we're going to go to routing. Okay, so now we're ready we're ready to create our routing rule. We're going to create three routing rules. First rule that we're going to create is for the mobile devices category and we want to assign everything from the mobile device category to an admin called James. Fine. All we need to do now is click add. Let's create another routing rule. This time we'll select company alpha and everything that comes from company alpha we want to assign to Belinda. And the third rule will be if a user comes from the finance user group, we want the administrator to be June. We'll get back to these rules in a moment. What I want to state is that sysaid goes through the routing rules in a sequential order from the bottom up and each service record is routed only once meaning if two rules could apply then the one that is lower in the list will apply first. If you want to edit a rule simply go to the edit button right here and if you want to remove a rule you can just click just click the X button right here to remove. Great, so now let's see how these rules actually work. But before that, I want to show you right here under general settings, we have a parameter that says route service records based on routing rules when the details of the request changes. That means that each time that you change the parameter in the service record as we're going to see in a moment automatically sysaid will apply the corresponding routing rule let's see how that takes place so we're now in our incidents list again and let's take a service record here now watch i'm going to change the category to mobile devices smartphones and other and automatically the service records is assigned to James. Now let's change the request user to Andrew and see what happens. Okay, automatically the service record is assigned to Belinda. Okay, why? Because Andrew is part of the Alpha company. Now what I'm going to do is change the user to Evelyn and see the assigned to change to June. Okay, all according to the routing rules that we created beforehand. How cool is that? So, that's all there is to it. We hope you found this tutorial useful and time saving, and we'll see you again on our next tutorial.